Hello, hello, hello. It's Kathy Bedell at MyStampinSpot.com coming to you. Whew, should be 10 minutes Tuesday, and I'm hoping to get it done in 10 minutes. I haven't had my dinner. It's really late. Here is yesterday's card. This was the first in the series of the Regal Flora, Flora card. I want to tell you guys, tomorrow is free shipping if you spend $45 or more. Just a heads up. Um, I am going to start by inking up this die cut. So I cut two of these yesterday, and I'm going to use the second one today. Now, I'm doing Blackberry Bliss because of what I'm choosing for DSP. I'm going to use the same DSP as yesterday, and I think I showed you this yesterday. If you pick one side to put this on, so I will send you the die cuts for these flowers um, so if you don't have the dies um, and if you can't do it this way then you can always stamp and hand trim there we go not too shabby not awesome but not too too shabby I'm gonna put that up there I'm gonna set that aside for a minute the other thing I'm gonna do is I have this tag this I die cut from the Greetings of of the season dies. This is part of a Christmas um, like word set, but I just loved this tag. And we're going to do something creative here. I hope. I'm sorry, I'm moving my light because I'm trying to get a marker out of my stack here. I want to do sending love your way. Sending love your way. We're going to do a fun fold tonight, and this is actually. Um, one of my favorites, one of my favorite fun folds to do. Okay, what we are going to do, hey Corinne, thank you for sharing. So we're going to stamp, uh, color half of it. So I have my stamp and write. You want to use the brush tip, not the fine tip. And you don't want to use the point. That will break down the, um, it's like a felt kind of. And I'm just going to ink up the first half of the word. Sending love. Because this is a little too big to fit on my card front. And it's a little too big to fit on my greeting. So we're going to make this happen in piecework. I don't know if you've ever done this, but this is a great thing to do. So I am going to put my tag at an angle on the card. So I am going to put it on the angle so that it's straight when you're reading it. Okay, now I have my sending love. And the great thing about this is, the way I'm dividing it up, I don't have to worry about them being lined up one right under the other. Sending love your way. There we go. And again, I'm just kind of putting it at an angle. There we go. Cute, cute, right? Okay, now. Oh, man. All right, let's start putting our card together now that we have our stamped items. So this is a fun fold, and I have lots of pieces here. First, I have a card base that is four and a quarter um, by, well, I cut four and a quarter by 11 and scored it at five and a half, and that cut three inches off. So that would make it eight inches. So it's eight by four and a quarter, and then you're going to want to score it at two and a half. Um, and then we have a piece of white. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths and this is the same beautiful DSP so this is a different print from the card from yesterday they're very similar but they're different um, the big floral I think is my my favorite so I'm going to layer these carefully like so and then we're going to layer this on the inside of the card because like I said this is a little fun fold. So the question is, do you have your card open this way or this way? I'm having it open from the left based on my floral images. All right, now this is 
three by eight scored at four. And I have a white piece that I want to put inside. This white piece is two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Sorry, I had to think real quick. This will all be on the blog tomorrow. The yesterday's card is on the blog if you're looking for the measurements. Okay, so three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Now I cut two pieces because one is going on the front. And to that, I'm going to adhere this piece of DSP. Now I could have done either one. I could have done this one, which would have complemented that nice, but I kind of wanted the peacock color on the front. So this piece of DSP is three and three quarters, three and three quarters by two and three quarters, like this. And then we're going to mount that on this like little mini card. It's kind of a card on a card, like so. Hey, Sheila, Crinlin, Donna, everybody's on tonight, huh? Okay, now, I have this one last piece of DSP in white. This is four by two and a quarter, so that makes this four and one eighth by two and three eighths. And I am going to adhere those. Look at this beautiful blue pattern that I'm covering up. It's almost sad that I'm covering this up. And again, if you make a purchase this week, I will send you two of each card kit all week long that I do. So there'll be a total of eight card kits. Oops, I want that this way because I just don't want it to look upside down. So you'll get two of these, two of yesterday's, and two of whatever else I make. Okay, now, you, we could do a couple things. You could take like a bigger die cut and put it here and put a matching size underneath. I'm taking it one step further. I'm going to put this mini card in here. So what I'm doing is closing it up and I'm going to center it to my card base. Like that. And then we have that. Isn't that cute? All right, so we have our sentiment that we did with our marker. We split it up. And this is the Blackberry Bliss Ribbon. Can you believe this is the only piece I have left? We did a class uh, for the retreat, and that was the last piece I had left. So I have more on order. But this is part of this Regal Suite, so we're using this paper. This is page 35. This is the um, Blackberry Bliss in gold, one-half inch textured ribbon. That's what I have. This is the Regal Winter DSP. Okay, I want to see if I can get this through here. I hope I can. It'd be like the little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> can you tell I raised a lot of kids? <laughs> okay. These tags from this Christmas greeting set are great. And you don't need to just use them at Christmas. That's the beauty of them. So I'm just going to cut a little bit like this. Whoops. If you watched yesterday, you heard my saga about my dull scissors. Okay. There we go. I'm going to save that little piece. Hey, Shirley. Laurie, how are you? Maria. Maria, I can't wait to see you in a couple weeks. Or should I say, I can't wait to meet you in a couple weeks. How cute is that, right? So, I am going to see if I have a little linen thread handy. Because, oh, look, I do. I do, I do. So, I'm going to put this tag on this piece first. And then I'm just going to tie this with um, a little bit of linen thread just for a little added detail and then we'll add the stamped flowers. I maybe should have put my words a little lower and over to the side for those flowers but I don't know we'll see how it goes. Okay so I'm going to put this a little above center only because 
based on my flowers, I'm thinking my flowers are going to kind of need to come down here somewhere. So I'm a little off center, a little higher than center. And I may need to stamp a piece of greenery to put on there. I, I wasn't planning that. I kind of was planning on using my leftover die cut from yesterday. Whoops. Oh, these scissors. I really got to get those out the door. I am going to put something heavy on that just to help me hold it down while I tie this. I could um, use glue dots to kind of close up this little tie, but I just think this kind of adds a nice touch. And I am going to double knot it, and then I'll tie the bow because sometimes the linen thread can kind of slip off the little ribbon if you're not careful. And I'll tie a little bow like that. And let me just trim these ends just a teeny bit. Like that. Okay, now do we need greenery. You know, maybe we don't need greenery because I would stamp it in peacock and I'm thinking maybe not. I'm thinking we can get by with just the flowers and maybe just a little bit of bling. Hey, Pam Clark. Shirley. Okay. It's a pretty quick card, right? Of course, the legwork was done before I got here, but... Okay, let's see. I kind of like that. Like that. I don't know. You think it needs greenery? I think it's okay. You know what I wish I had done? I wish I had stamped this textured stamp here and here. These little dots. I think that maybe would have kind of looked nice. But that's okay. Let's get some bling. So I have the... Um, Regal foiled adhesive back dots that go with the suite. And let's put a couple of these on, and I think it'll balance out that tag a little. So your kits from last week went out, and boy, they were pretty heavy for making takes, I have to tell you. Cute, right? I need one more dot. They say things come in threes in nature, so I feel like we need one more dot to balance that. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. All right, so there's the first two cards in our series. Look how different they look despite using the same pack of paper. And um, so I don't think I will see you tomorrow. I don't usually come um, on Wednesdays. I do want to remind you, if you place a $40 order using the host code that I've attached, I will send you two of each card that I make all week long, kits, so that you can create them at home. Um, if you spend $50, I will send you a free pack of embellishments. If you spend $75 and you order tomorrow, you will get the eight card kits, you will get the free embellishments, and Stampin' Up! is giving you free shipping tomorrow. Now, if your list is really long and you go crazy and you spend $150, don't use the host code. Put your, um, collect your own rewards, and I still will send you everything that we've talked about. All right. Okay. So tomorrow is a good day to order all that. Yeah, Lynn, this is one of my favorite fun folds. This is one of my favorite fun folds. Um, oh, look at sending love your way. Well, this wishing you... We're there for a hug. Fit inside. Oh, yes. I'm going to stamp that inside. Hold the phone. I hope I stamp it straight because I already hear the white piece. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So this says, wishing I were there to give you a hug. That's a good card, isn't it? I want to make sure I put it on the right way. All right. Wish me luck. Ah, little crooked. 
not terrible. I can live with that. I could also cut another piece and put it over it if I really wanted to. Sending Levy away, wishing I were there to give you a hug. So you learned a little technique with the Stampin' Right and all. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. There, um, I think there's one more Christmas Club set of cards left. Stamp Club by mail is closed. Those go out Thursday or Friday. And the Shepherd's Class is uh, still available. That doesn't mail out till the first week of October. So there you go. All right. I will see you Thursday. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for like, sharing, and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Have a great night, and have an awesome day tomorrow. Bye.